my name is Stuart Ganulin. I'm the, the director of Hope for Sturrote. We've been here for going on 14 years now in Sturrote. Sturrote is a very interesting little town in as much as it's called Rocket City, or the rocket capital of the world, or the bomb shelter capital of the world, because over the last 18 years, we have experienced almost 10 to 12,000 Qassam rocket attacks from the terrorists in Gaza. It's become a, a way of life. You never know when the next one's gonna come. You never know whether you're gonna see your kids when you take them to school today because they may be killed on the way home from school. That's the reality of, of steroids. The psychological damage it does to everybody that's here. Everybody lives with the constant threat, with the constant fear of when is the next Seva Dome going to sound, where is the next Kassam going to fall, where are my children going to be, where am I going to be, and it, it's just, it's, it was just a very tense time. When the Iron Dome alarm sounds, you have 15 seconds to find a safe place to hide. For a, a young person, that's fine. For elderly people with a walker, they're not going to go anywhere in 15 seconds. Uh, people in a wheelchair or people with, with crutches, it, it's, it's impossible to get to a safe place within 15 seconds. When you're driving in a car, you, you stop in the middle of the street, but where do you go to run to hide in 15 seconds? There are many groups that want to boycott Israel and stop all support of Israel. But Israel needs everybody's support. If you look at the Judeo-Christian values of the world, it all started here. It all began in Israel. There needs to be some, I would think, moral responsibility to help the people of Israel during this time, to support them, whether it be financially through, through buying products and goods from, from Israel, uh, supporting charities that, that help the people of Israel. It's, it, it's just very important that we don't abandon Israel. The families we help now are families with, with kids that, that are in crutches, families that wives have cancer. They're into, they're, they actually become part of our family because we know them personally. We know what their problems are firsthand, and we support them the best we can. What makes our support for them possible is your generosity, your help. Without your help, we would be able to do nothing. So for that, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. <laughs>